Hey, what's up guys? In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you go from one location to another through this epic portal effect. And if you wanna follow this tutorial, I would recommend you go back and watch my previous video on how to create this portal effect. So let's get right into it. So here's the project from uh, the previous tutorial. And as you can see, I have two new assets. I have a drone clip and I have a mat for my circle. So first off, let's duplicate our circle pre-render. From here, I'm gonna drag and drop our mat and hold Alt on the keyboard as I replace it. And then we're gonna change the blend mode from Add to Normal. After that, we're gonna duplicate the clip once again and we're gonna replace one of the clips with the other location we wanna go through. We're then gonna go to Track Mat and change it to Luma Mat. We're then gonna drag these two layers underneath our pre-render circle and underneath our texture. And you should have something that looks like this. You can now see the new location is in the circle. So what you want to do from here is you want to go, you want to go to a frame where the circle is fitting the entire screen. So this frame seems to be where it's at. And then I'm going to click S on the keyboard and adjust the scale. And also I'm going to press R and adjust the rotation. Now what I'm trying to do here is get the clip looking as flat as possible in 3D space. So you want to have it placed so it's like fitting the screen. As you can see, I'm trying to achieve here by adjusting the different angles. And then I'm pressing A on the keyboard to adjust the, uh, the position of the clip. And it's getting pretty close. Now we just have to scale it up a bit, adjust the anchor point again. And this is looking pretty good. So as you can see here, I have this line breaking down the clip, which is uh, the texture and the circle going through. And we're gonna, gonna find a way to fix this, to fix this line. So there's actually a trick you can do in After Effects where you create a new layer and uh, you add an adjustment layer and then you put the adjustment layer above to break the 3D. So now it's not sticking through the circle it's breaking up the layers so you have the circle on top of the clip, which is exactly what we want. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to add our second location clip on top of everything. And we're going to make sure it fits the entire screen. And you can see as I turn on, turn off and on the layers, you can see that it's matching up pretty good. So I'm just fading up the opacity over time here. And we're going to take a look at how it looks. So it's getting pretty close. We still have some things to do. But first, let's go ahead and parent our clip to the camera shake. I'm just going to rename our null here to the camera shake. And let's play it back and see how it looks. So now we have the camera shake, but we still have some, some weird stuff going on we have to fix. You see, we have these edges of the clip not being big, big enough for the camera shake. And we're going to fix this by right clicking on our layer, go to effect, stylize and CC reptile. We're then going to expand all the left, right, down, up edges, expand all the edges. And we're going to change the tiling from repeat to unfold. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now. And it's looking pretty good. Now we still have some stuff to fix here. The, the clip is still not big enough when it's in the circle. So we're actually gonna, we're gonna copy our CC reptile and paste it onto our drone clip that's inside. And we're gonna expand the edges even more to make sure it fits the entire screen, the entire circle. You can see that's working out pretty good. Now we get this kind of tiled effect on the clip, which I'm not a huge fan of the tiling going on in the clip. So we're gonna go ahead and try and fix that by keyframing the position and the scale. So I'm just gonna set us uh, some keyframes at the end. And when the clip is becoming too tiled here early on, we're gonna adjust the scale and the position. Now I'm just doing this roughly to show you how I created this effect. I'm scaling it up, adjusting the position. 
And as you can see now, the clip doesn't look too tiled inside the circle. It's pretty cool. I'm just adjusting the timing. Maybe even make it more snappier. That's looking pretty good to me. Yeah, we're almost there. Alright guys, let's go ahead, because the, the clip is starting from the beginning, but it actually doesn't have to. We can start the clip <clears throat> when the circle started opening up, which is around here. So let's go ahead and add a marker to know where our keyframes are supposed to be. And then I'm going to select my two drone clips, move them to where the circle starts and I'm gonna adjust the keyframes back to the marker so the timing is still correct. Way better. I like that much more. Now we establish the next shot. We have some time on the next shot before clipping to another clip, before cutting to another clip. That's all for today guys. Subscribe and leave a like if you liked the video and I'll see you next time. Did it now at mklist.dk.